This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, Frank Warren, he seems as keen to make the Joshua Fury fight as much as Eddie Hearn, which is great news. Now, I'm not too sure how much say that Frank Warren's going to have in this one. As we know, Bob Arum, top rank, are Tyson Fury's main promoters. Frank Warren, I don't know exactly what his role is anymore. But either way, he's saying that a uh, Fury-Joshua fight should be a 50-50 split. All egos have to go out the window. In fact, we get straight into Frank Warren's statement. We want to get the fight on on a 50-50 basis. Joshua needs Tyson. He's in his slipstream now. It's Fury versus Joshua, not Joshua versus Fury. Uh, Joshua's got Tyson's belt. He vacated. Tyson's the main man, but egos have got to go out the window. So Frank Warren's statement. Now, it's great that egos have to go out the window, but isn't that a bit egotistical or egotistical to say that it should be Fury versus Joshua, not Joshua versus Fury. Now, for me, I don't care which way around they have it, and hopefully the fighters don't, because if that's the kind of technicality that's going to stop this kind of fight happening, then what the hell are we um, involved in in boxing? It's pretty petty, isn't it? So he's saying Ego should go outside, but he's being egotistical by saying it should be Fury versus Joshua. Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, Joshua will be absolutely fine with that anyway, but it's just the contradiction of his statement is a little bit ridiculous. Um... Now, first of all, it's a fight that people would love, especially with Undisputed being on the line, that adds a bit more spice to it, doesn't it? Um, where it will take place and when it will take place, who knows? Obviously, uh, Fury, he's got to uh, deal with this um, uh, third fight with Wilder that it appears that not, that not too many people want to see, including Wilder fans. And Joshua, he's got to defend against his RBF mandatory in Kubat Pulev and then go on and face the winner of... Um, Usyk and Chisora as the WBO mandatory. Likewise, Tyson Fury gets past Deontay Wilder, which I fully expect him to do so. Then um, he's going to have to defend against his mandatory in Dillian White, which is a mega fight in itself. I know a lot of uh, Tyson Fury fans. Listen, I'm a massive Tyson Fury fan too. Uh, but they're kind of uh, drunk on the uh, whole performance against Wilder and seem to think that, 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 that he could do that to Joshua and do that to Dillian White. Different styles. I'm not saying that Tyson Fury wouldn't win, but what I am saying is, don't think he's going to find it that easy. Anyway, all that's aside. So for this particular subject, we're talking about AJ versus Fury. So if all the stars are aligned and that's the fight that we end up getting, I think that Fury versus Joshua or Joshua versus Fury is pretty petty of uh, Frank Warren. I really do. But a 50-50 fight, sure. Not that I have any kind of say in it, not that you guys have any um, kind of say in it, but I do agree that it's 50-50. Now, I know that Frank Warren's putting in a bit of a dig that Joshua's currently carrying around the belts that Tyson Fury vacated. Well, he didn't vacate them, he got stripped of them, all right? I mean, with the IBF, he got stripped because he agreed a rematch with Vladimir Klitschko, which he didn't really need to do because Vladimir Klitschko, who was champion at the time, Tyson Fury was his mandatory, so he didn't have to put in a rematch clause, but he agreed in one anyway, so that's why he lost out on the IBF um, belt. With the other ones, he went off the rail, so it's not like Joshua is keeping them warm for him. Joshua went round and belt collecting. Let's give respect where respect is earned, because Joshua collected all those belts individually. He didn't just beat Vladimir Klitschko for all of them, he collected all of them, including Vladimir Klitschko. So let's put a little bit of respect on Joshua's name there, Frank. So they're not Tyson Fury's belts. If Tyson Fury hadn't have done what he'd done after he beat uh, Klitschko, then the belts wouldn't have been dispersed, would they? So let's be real about it. But 50-50, yes, this is a mega fight. Of course it is. But there could be some obstacles that may stop this fight from happening. As I said, is there a 100% guarantee that Fury is going to get past uh, Wilder and get past Dillian White? Is there a 100% guarantee that uh, Joshua's going to get past uh, Pulev and the winner of uh, Usyk and Chisora? No, of course not. There's no guarantees in anything, is there? It's heavyweight boxing, one lapse of concentration, or whatever it may be. Or maybe one of these guys are better than either Tyson Fury or um, Anthony Joshua on the night. You never know, right? But if things do happen and these guys get it on, it's going to be a mega fight, isn't it? It's going to be an absolutely mega fight. So, Frank Warren, you may say, put ego to the side. Well, that kind of tells you that uh, you need to be preaching your own medicine right there as well. Put your ego to the side. Who cares if it's Fury versus Joshua or Joshua versus Fury? Who gives a damn? Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.